Innovation doesn't announce itself. It whispers, taking shape in shadows and gradually unfolding. This is the start of a new journey, familiar yet with a purpose all its own. This project marks the beginning of an entire series focused on mastering high frequencies. At the heart of this series will be a 3D printed tweeter that will stand beside my 3D printed speakers in an attempt to create a 3D printed system that can stand against the store-bought speakers. Today, this project steps into the light for you all to see. Starting off, I present Project Monotone, the first iteration of my 3D printed tweeter. Construction consists of mostly PETG, with the cone and former being resin, and some closed cell foam for the surround. It's held into the enclosure with five fasteners and has a narrow shape. The motor plates are made of mild steel and the magnets are N52. The enclosure is a simple sealed shape with rounded interior walls to reduce standing waves, though no wave should be able to escape the back side due to the nature of the driver's construction. The horn on the front helps direct waves, though no math was done to predict its exact operation. Internally, though, we can see this differs greatly compared to a traditional speaker. There is no spider to control the cone, and the cone is a far different shape. The motor is also significantly smaller. The tweeter itself is quite large, with a piston diameter of 42 millimeters, though the coil, former cone, and surround weigh less than 2 grams. The design is of a dome tweeter variant, and it was designed with the frequencies from 4500 Hz and up in mind. We will see if I hit that mark in the REW segment. The motor for the tweeter was a combination of extra plates and magnets I had laying around for my other speaker projects. It uses five N52 magnets and mild steel plates bundled together with an M5 screw and nut and a printed aligner. Overall motor thickness is less than 12 millimeters, making this a very compact motor. We will now move on to the build montage and play test. However, first a word about today's sponsor, PCBWay. This video is brought to you by PCBWay. Whether you need high quality PCB manufacturing, CNC machining, or custom 3D printing, PCBWay has you covered. With fast turnaround times and exceptional service, they help bring your ideas to life. So visit them at PCBWay.com to get started today. Now, on with the video.
So on screen is DATS and a very lackluster graph of the tweeter. I'm unsure if I'm using this correct for a tweeter or not since I need it for the 4000 and up hertz range only. However, it did pull some interesting data, saying it produces 71 decibels with 1 watt at 1 meter. Also it confirms the super lightweight moving bits as it records 0.5 grams in the MMS. Moving on to REW though. We can see a semi-flat response from about 300 hertz to 6000 hertz with a taper beginning after the 6000 hertz and a complete fall off happening around 12000 hertz. While the graph is in no way perfect, I think this is an excellent start for the tweeter series. This graph is way better off than the very first speaker's graph, so this will serve as an excellent foundation to build on. It will already pair very well with some of the previous speaker's low range responses and I already have a few ideas for version 2 to refine some of the areas I struggled with and to make assembly more streamlined for a better experience for any of my viewers who would like to recreate these. With that though, the Tweeters project will come to a close. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the first journey with Tweeters.